GOP senators in the room during crap hole scandal go public reveal what really happened that conservative girl politics US news for madworldnews.com on Thursday President Donald Trump allegedly referred to Haiti along with third world African nations as a crap hole during a meeting on immigration with senators at the White House Today, it is seemingly all anyone can talk about. However, two GOP senators who were in the same room as the president when he supposedly made the comment have since gone public revealing what really happened, and it's far different than the story the media has been telling you. At a press conference in Chicago on Friday, Democratic Illinois Senator Dick Durbin double down on the story that Trump had used the term crap hole to describe undesirable third world countries, giving reporters his version of how the ordeal unfolded. When the question was raised about Haitians, for example, we, had a, uh, we have a group that have uh, temporary protected status in the United States because they were the victims of crisis uh, and disasters and uh, political upheaval, Durbin, uh, Durbin said Friday. The largest group is El Salvadoran, uh, the second is Honduran, and the third is Haitian. And when I mentioned uh, that fact to Trump, he said, Haitians, do we need more Haitians? And then he went on and started to describe the immigration from Africa that was being protected in this bipartisan measure, continued Durbin. That's where he used the vile and vulgar comments calling the nations they come from crap holes, the exact word used by the president not just once but repeatedly. Senator Dick Durbin, a Democrat of Illinois, refuted President Trump's tweeted denials that he used the phrase crap hole countries when discussing legal protections for immigration's immigrants uh, from Haiti, El Salvador, and African countries. Durbin, who was in the meeting with the president when he made the remark, said, Mr. Trump's denial, it's not true. He said those hateful things, and he said them repeatedly. Durbin attended an event in Chicago Friday and then held a press conference on the president's comments afterwards. He told reporters how the issue came up source CBS News. However, there are two sides to every story and the virgin, a version uh, being put, for, uh, put forth by uh, two men who do not have an anti-Trump agenda is much different. In a joint statement uh, issued on fr uh, Friday afternoon, Republican Senators David Perdue and Tom Cotton, who were in the room when t uh, Trump allegedly referred to Haiti as a crap hole, emphatically claimed they did not recall the president making that comment. President Trump brought everyone to the table this week and listened to both sides, they said. But, regrettably, it seems that no, uh, not uh, everyone is committed to negotiating in good faith. In regards to Senator Durbin's accusations, we do not recall the president saying these comments specifically, but what he did call out was the imbalance in our current immigration system, which does not protect American uh, workers and our national interests, the senators added. We, along with the president, are committed to solving an issue many in Congress have failed to deliver on for decades. They concluded, leaving no doubt that the media and Democrats have blown this scandal out of proportion. To conclude, you can take the word of a pro-amnesty senator who hates President Trump with a passion and would love nothing more than to see him taken down, or you can consider that two other men who were also in the room when Trump allegedly called uh, Haiti a crap hole have adamantly refuted the story. Even if you do think Trump called third world countries a harsh word, you cannot say that he was wrong. Haiti is a certifiable crap hole. That's why everyone who lives there is trying to leave and come here. And at worst, uh, Trump was telling the truth in his signature, politically incorrect way. Yeah, I could care less whether he said it or not. These liberals, don't they have anything better to do? Go wash some dishes. Make yourself useful at least. You know what I'm saying? Like they have all this time 
to, you know, just go on Twitter and uh, spread all this hate, you know, but it's not working. Trump can come out and say it right on the mic, and, and believe me, uh, the people that voted for Trump are behind him 100%. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and again, thank you so much for watching.